So hello, if you're just joining, it'll take me just a minute. Darren has a little running around he does, uh, putting putting the lives. Well, hello, Michael. Michael, hi. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch camera views so that I can show you some fun stuff. All right, we're going to get started on this is uh, the monthly subscription items. I just want to go over really quick with you. Go ahead and still tell me, Darren, if people pop in. Yeah. This is Plum aqua pigment and it is such a pretty color it's got a little bit of a, a metallic shine to it really pretty shimmery and that is from the aqua pigment of the month subscription this is the glitter glaze this is orchid look at that I can't wait to play with that and so if you haven't subscribed to the die of the month, I'm telling you what you need to. This is the um, this is the die this month. I'll hold it this way so that you can see it. I know that it's upside down. Uh, this one is called Space Flight, and you've got all of these amazing dies. I think this is so cute. There have been some amazing things made with that. And let me show you. I'm gonna move this so I don't end up dumping all the. Bingo balls. Hang on one sec. Okay, so let me show you the ATC kit really quick and the stamp of the month. And I'll show you the inspiration box and then we'll move on to our project, okay? So here is the stamp of the month. Isn't that little guy so cute, this little space guy? Um, I don't think it has the name on it, but super cute. And it says, you are out of this world. And then we've got this awesome ATC kit that's got just a ton in it. Look at this great bag. I love this. This is going to be perfect for storing so many of my crafty goodies. This is the stamp set. We'll start with we'll start from the top on this one. And it's called Sky's the Limit. And I just think this is so cute. I love that he's waiting. So cute. And then it has this cute little constellation stencil. Can you see that very well? Let me put it up against this so you can see it a little better. And then, of course, you've got your ATC cards. And this ATC kit came with an awesome bonus. This is a chroma mist in white. This is awesome for making space backgrounds, anything that you want to kind of make a galaxy background, as well as your dew drops in iris, which are also going to aid in that. And then it has this fun little wire you can have for the, um, I'm not sure, like the cable from the space guy to the spacecraft or whatever else your imagination comes up with, create your own ending, right? And it's got some stars, of course. And you've got these little glow in the dark pieces. They're they're not tether. It's called a tether. That makes sense. Sorry, I'm behind on the I'm listening to you on the computer, so I'm behind you talking. I'm well, you thank you for correcting me. <laughs> these are the little glow in the dark pieces. That would be so fun in a shaker Who or says hi. Who did? Michelle. Hi Michelle. Thanks for joining us. All right, and then look at this. Look at all this paper that came with the ATC kit. You, of course, have your awesome shimmer paper. Love our glitter stock. This is amazing stuff. Watch. You don't see any glitter because it's it doesn't flake off. And then you've got these really awesome prism papers. You've got this textured, uh, textured stock, which is really cool because when you tear it, you've got... All kinds of dimension you can go with the black and tear it and then you'll have that white core I believe on these Mary and hi. hi Mary and then you've got some blue there is a ton of paper in this kit I am like amazed by all of it and then you've got your fun um, what is this called watercolor galaxy paper I think beautiful this is an awesome kit I think it is a huge value so I will go ahead and just throw those in here so that I don't, they're not in my way so we can create, right? 
And then last but not least, of course, we've got the inspiration box, which is always an amazing value. If you haven't gotten the one from this month, I'm telling you what, you need it. It's called Reach for the Stars. You will not regret it. Oh, I just dropped it on the floor. It doesn't matter how long my counter is. I don't think there's ever enough of it when I'm crafting. <laughs> I'll fill the whole thing. Okay. So in the inspiration box, we again have the Chroma Mist. Amazing. You've got... Look at all of these sequins. I love this mix. This is one of my favorite mixes so far. It's got these little clear ones. You've got your purples and your blues, and it's just beautiful. I'm I'm not sure if it has the name of it on there, but I did. I I just think these are gorgeous. Okay, and then you've got, of course, your enamel pin, which is always so fun to see which pin is in this month's kit. And you've got this cute little space guy. And then you've got, and that's the same little stamp as the stamp in the uh, ATC kit. You've got your ribbon. Love it. Beautiful selection. And then let's look at these. These are the card panels. Michelle said just go home with the Simon Hurley Lunar Paste. She can't wait to play. Oh, Michelle, I ordered that today. I can't wait to play with that either. The Simon Hurley Lunar Paste. It just released today. These are so cute. These are the... Um, the card panels and these are printed with toner ink so you can use them with foil very cool Ooh, I love those we actually are going to use some of the card panels for our project today not from this kit but um, it might give you some ideas and then you've got your conversation clippings super cute the sentiments are really cute on this look at this fun font I know it's probably kind of hard to see uh, on the live because it's backwards, but on the edit for YouTube, Darren will flip that. So I'll just show that one more time. And then you've got all of these really fun things. You've got um, these fun stars. These are in this bag. Nice and snug. They weren't going anywhere. Okay, so you've got some a selection of gold and silver stars. And then you've got this really cute embossing folder with all these cool constellations on it. And this is a new thing that um, Brutus Monroe started doing, and that is adding the card bases, which I love these card bases. They are so convenient. So this is a good way to try them out and see what you think of them, and I guarantee you're going to like them, and then you will probably want to order more of them. Mary is planning to pick up the lunar stuff at the brunch. Oh, Mary. That will be fun. That brunch is probably going to be a blast. Yeah, if you already live closer. I know. If I lived closer, I would attend in person on that. All right. And then this is the stamp set and the dies that coordinate with it. This is called, what is this called? I always forget the names. Reach for the stars, just like the box is called. And these fit so well. I have had so much fun playing with these this month. I'm kind of sad to see the month end because I've had so much fun with the space stuff. So you might see more projects from me later on using them because they're so fun. Hi, Kathy. And I think this is my favorite glitter stock I've ever gotten because it's just such a pretty color. Look at that. Gorgeous. And you've got all of these fun colors to work with to make all kinds of awesome, out of this world de designs. So I am going to move that off of my table so that we can move on to our project for today. So today I wanted to do another fun fold. This is a fairly simple fold, but I really liked this. Um, I came across this card when I was just playing along on Pinterest. I'm sure all of you do that from time to time. And this card I found, um, I was going to look for her name. I had it on here. It, oh, Crafty Karen. Crafty Karen Designs. 
came up with this. Apparent, uh, she actually took it from somebody else's design, but she modified it so it would work with eight and a half by 11 paper. Okay, so we're gonna start out. I wanted to make something with this really cute sticker sheet. This is from Photo Play Paper, and it is called Birds of a Feather. Had to look for the name. Obviously, that seems to be my struggle today. And look at all of these cute stickers. I just love all these bold, fun colors. And so I am going to create with this today. No stamping today. I feel kind of naked without stamps, but for today, we are not going to be stamping. But as I told you, we are going to use some card panels. Um, I just kind of have them here in a lump. But uh, the panels that we're using are gonna be from the prehistoric party box. So I used, I used the, um, the palm leaf, kind of tropical looking leaf. I cut out a few little um, leaves on my Cricut just to kind of work as an embellishment for this. And I also used some of the rainbow dot paper, ironically in the white, kind of funny when you're using rainbow dot, right? So we're gonna use that, but let's just get started on how this goes together. So the first thing that I did is I just took a piece of eight and a half by 11 paper and I cut it to five inches by, I just left the other side 11. I'm just gonna double check my measurements, yep. And then I went in at seven inches and then I scored it. I don't know if you can see that because it's on black. So I'm going to go ahead and burnish that down a little bit. And this project will be up on the blog, so all of the measurements and everything will be there. So if you don't catch the measurements, don't, don't despair. So then this little piece right here, there's two of these. These are going to be attached on the bottom of this. And the measurements on those are three inches by three and a half. Yep, and so I'm gonna take the side that's, uh, the shorter side, the three and a half, and I'm gonna go a half an inch in, and I scored it there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and burnish that. I think that's the right word. Is that the right word for what I'm saying? Feels like the right word. We'll do this side too. I'm talking a lot. Does anybody else have anything they wanna say? <laughs> I feel like I'm monopolizing the conversation here. And so now that we've had all of this set up, this is, I mean, that's how this card starts. I mean, it's really fairly simple. Everything else is pretty much going to be just cutting and matting and this card could come together really quick. That's It's one of those fun, easy, just simple cards that is just gonna look cute because it's such a fun, bold uh, color palette. So now I just decided, when I cut these out, I kind of cut them so that they would match up. Brutus Moreau said, just a heads up, we're in the final quantities of our first shipment of Lunar Paste. Oh, you guys, hop on the Lunar Paste. Look up, uh, look online see the new lunar paste that Simon Hurley released today and it sounds like it is it is going quick so jump on that this piece right here is four and a half by six and a half and I'm just going to attach that to my card base actually no I need to attach this first so I'm getting ahead of myself bear with me what color is that piece this blue this blue actually um I don't know, it's just from my stash. Okay. Never mind. And these other colors, these all came from paper that I got from my uh, inspiration boxes. So I don't necessarily know the names. The blue is just from my cardstock stash, but um, the other ones are from my inspiration box uh, paper. So it's more of a layering paper. Okay, so let's go with this first. Let's attach our, our, mat, our mats with our card panels. Christopher said, we thought five cases would be enough, guess not. 
I guess not. I know I jumped on that, Christopher. Yeah. I had a feeling so ordered as soon as Simon's video ended. <laughs> <laughs> yep, everybody is jumping on that lunar paste. It looks really beautiful. I'm excited to play with it. Definitely jump on it. Get it while you can. Shop to remember the stamp foam. Run, don't walk, crazy friends. These pace are hard, amazing. All right, you heard it from Darren. I don't know if you did hear it. Say it again, and I'll and Listen, I'll repeat. Man, Michelle said, "Remember the stamp foam." Michelle Run, said to remember walk. the stamp foam. Oh, the stamping foam. Yes, the stamping foam is so hard to get. I have a, a sweet person who watches my videos who is looking and looking and I and I know her pain she's just wants to get it and she's having a hard time because it's just popular so yeah get the get the lunar paste so you don't regret it okay so now we're just gonna center that and stick that down All right, let's keep that moving. Okay. I think I have that just about centered. I tell you what, I don't stamp straight. I have a hard time matting straight, but I do the best I can, you know? <laughs> but don't ever line them up because you'll always find my stuff is crooked. <laughs> All right. Definitely always put a little bit of handmade flair on whatever I make. <laughs> it's very obviously not machine made. All right. See if I can get that centered on there pretty good. I don't know if you craft sitting down or standing up, but I will tell you that I have better luck when I'm standing to center things than I do when I'm sitting down. Just a little tip. Okay, so I'm going to just use, you could use glue if you wanted to, but I think I'm just gonna use tissue tape for this, for the easy, easy tear tape because this stuff holds really, really well. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to line this up right with the bottom of our card base. Let me move over a little bit and make sure I'm in view. And go ahead and attach that. I'm putting it on right. Let's go right here. So tomorrow is Benji's last day of school for the year. So we're getting we're gearing up for summer. How about everybody else? Okay. All right, that will work. And like I said, it might not be exactly straight, so <laughs> be forgiving. We'll just kind of move it up a little bit. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put our liner in there. So that'll cover up our little seams there. And I don't think I told you all the measurements. So the two uh, little pieces of the palm paper from the card fronts, the, uh, the prehistoric box, those ones were each two by three. And the mats were uh, two and a quarter by three and a quarter. Ellen says her husband is finished teaching this year. And Gina says 21 days to go. She can't wait for it to be over. Oh, Gina, I bet. And Ellen, I bet he is done. I will tell you, 
hopefully Benji had nothing to do with it, but uh, his teacher is retiring this year, and I just thought, oh, bless your heart. I can't say as I blame you. What a crazy year and a half. Okay, but I'll probably tease Benji about that a little bit. Ask him what he did. <laughs> I think we already did. Make a did we? <laughs> I said that right Great. We're such good parents. Okay, so now this is um, the corner rounder that FSJ has on the Brutus Monroe site. Michelle says, wow, well, most of the kids go to mid June. Oh, really? We start early, though. We do start fairly early here in Arizona. We start in August. We, yeah, we start in. Early yeah, early in the August, yeah. So, the nice thing about this punch is this because it it kind of looks like a corner is where you would naturally think to go, but thankfully it's labeled notch, so you don't do that. Gina it, says her son's having a rough year. He got beat up yesterday during recess. Oh, Gina, I'm so sorry. Oh, that is hard on Mama's heart. And then Ellen says he's mentally exhausted after this. Who, Ellen said that? I bet. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It has, it has been a rough year. Yes, for sure. Oh, I'm so sorry to both of you. Bullying sucks. Bullying does. It does. And it, it just is one of those things, you know, those kids will probably all grow out of it, but they have no idea how those words and those actions Stay with you. So we just rounded the corners on all of these pieces. So just to make sure, I will tell you the, the dimensions again in case I didn't, because there's a good chance, because I've kind of been chatty. So this one's four and three quarters by three and three quarters. This mat is. And this one is four and a half by three and a half. Okay. I'm just having fun chatting with you. I'm, I need to make sure I'm explaining what I'm doing. So it's already really hot. Like it's definitely summer here in Arizona already. Yeah, we're 102 today. Is it 102? It feels like 102. <laughs> we definitely. It's too early. It's like kids are out of school, so yeah, summer's here. Ready or not. Sorry, Miss Winter. <laughs> yep, winter. Winter is our favorite around here. Okay, now I'm not going to attach that yet because I think I might want to um, to put some some thread on that. So we're going to set this aside for a minute. It's kind of bugging me. So I'm just going to put that little punch on it so I don't have to <laughs> fight with it. So I just cut a little strip of paper. This is a half inch by, what is that one, three and a half? And, or no, this is four and, a, four and a half across. So it's four and a half across by a half inch. Ellen said not looking for forward to the summer heat and we'll be moving. Ellen is? Yeah. Ellen is moving. Things go right, we might be too. Yeah, we're kind of hoping. We'd, we'd kind of like to move, but we'll probably just move somewhere else here because desert weather is good for Darren. Donna says we just skip summer, lol. <laughs> Donna. Wouldn't it be nice if we could just, you know, put a little temperature control on I mean, we're so spoiled. We have, we have air conditioning and all of that, but yeah. Lily said, oh my goodness, she must be dying. 102. <laughs> Hi, Lily. I bet you're getting ready for school to end. Well, does she know it's going to get to about 120 before it starts? Yeah, it so gets hot. really hot around here, but... But we get the trade-off for the winters, so we just deal with it. Michelle said move to Pittsburgh, Shannon. I wish I could. I wish I could move to Pittsburgh. But like I said, the the weather here is good for Darren. We seriously thought about it. We did. We really thought about moving to Pittsburgh, but um, the humidity is not 
It's not, not a good thing for Dern. I have to laugh because almost every time I do a live, somebody calls. So if you're hearing a buzzing, I apologize. No one calls any rest of the time, but you know. Because live, you get that fun buzz. Sorry. <laughs> So this is my first time using uh, the black foam, easy, uh, easy to tab foam. So I'm excited about that because you won't be able to see, they won't like, show up so much. We are just going to add a little bit of, I think I need to move that over a little bit. I'm trying to hide the fact that I was a little short when I cut my little border piece so I want to move it over a little bit more there we go and I told you I am not a perfect crafter do we want the little one and the big one or the medium and then the little I think Donna says we don't have air conditioning in this house. It's been 86 degrees here today. Ugh, oh, Donna. I am so sorry. That is not fun. Yeah, it's awful. I, my worst fear is to be without air conditioning. <laughs> Gina just said she was trying to answer her phone. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to throw you off, Gina. Gina or Tina? Tina. Tina, sorry, I didn't mean to throw you off. Okay. So now we're just going to tuck this little guy in there. Ellen asked, are those die cuts or did you fussy cut? These are actually die cuts. These are just, these are from the, my Cricut. To be honest with you, I asked Darren to uh, design them for me so <laughs> I could use them. He is quite the guy. He is able to do that kind of thing. Thank goodness, because I can't. Okay, so now we're just going to pick a couple of birds. I really, really like this toucan. I just think it's so cute. So I haven't decided if I want to just put it on behind it or if I want to put it on top. I think he needs to go on top, so I'm going to use... One of our regular, I, I mean, it's it's already adhesive, but because I want a little dimension on it, I'm just going to add the easy tab to it. And I knew I would do this, so. Ellen I'm, says that too kind of stinking cute. I agree, Ellen. He's just fun. Or she. Michelle says he's adorable. So we're going to put that toucan right there. And then I think we need to have, there's only one other bird. There's only one bird that faces the other way. And I think we need, we need his friend. And we might need to move this down a little bit. Thanks for bearing with me while I kind of design on the, on the run here. I want him lower, I think. Maybe we'll put... I feel like he needs to go like right there. But he's not really sitting on anything. So let's, let's see what we can do here. Maybe if we put this like this, we can sit him. Yeah, let's do that. All right, problem solved. <laughs> Let's put this one down here. And. Oh, I was going to put something else on there. Oh, well, I think I can still do it. All right. Let me just add a little foam to this guy. But I don't think I want to stick him down until I do one last thing that I meant to do already and forgot. I just want to add a little bit of twine. Around that little blue around the little blue piece. 
We'll just go under those leaves. And I do have foam there, so I just have to kind of see if I can lift it up just enough. I don't need it to go all the way up, just a little ways on there. Okay, just about have that. I just need to, I'm not sure how much of that is going to show anyway, because our little bird's going to be there. But I feel like it just needed a little, a little more oomph. It's much easier if you do it before you put your foam on there. So plan ahead. Do as I say, not as I do, I guess, in this case. But don't freak out if you don't. I mean, that's the thing. It's just paper and play and experiment. And sometimes you don't get an idea until after you've put something down. But you know what? A lot of times you can work your way around it. I think the biggest trick is knowing when to, when to let it go and when to go for it. All right, we're gonna put this guy right here. I don't wanna stick it to the... Robin said you can never go wrong with a bow or ribbon. I love ribbon. I love twine. I just think it adds so much to a card. Ellen said, plan ahead. Surely you just. <laughs> paper crafter, we don't plan. Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one that kind of sometimes just just plans on the, just, just goes for it. I just do it and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And I think we want a little dimension on this. So we're going to use the foam on this as well. I think it'll be easier to line up if I do it this way. See, I did plan ahead a little bit at least on yeah, that. Said that bird is really cute. Aren't they cute? This is such a cute set. And there's so many things. Like every time I look at the sticker sheet, I see more things I hadn't seen before. So we're, we're not done. We're going to do some more embellishing. I just, this is just our basic our basic idea here. All right. So we've got the basic base of our card. And I already chose a sentiment that I thought worked really fun with this. I kind of liked that just the birds have the color. They're kind of the stars of the show. So we'll just add this. You could either um, just attach it on one side or you could add some magnets. I'm thinking. Michelle said, oh, we have room for the best friend letters. The best friend's letters. That is cute too, but I think um, I actually have a different idea for up here. I was thinking maybe I would put some hearts up here. What do you guys think? Let's put this thing on and get it out of my way. I was just debating on whether I should put it on a foam square or not. So we'll see. I'm trying to get it kind of at least somewhat centered on here. I've kind of resigned myself that I'm not going to be complete. I see. I still think it needs a magnet, so we're going to do that too. So I just happen to have some. Jen said you could do a belly band. A, yeah, belly band would be cute too. And Donna said it is so great to be able to watch my crafty friends' videos again. Oh, I Donna. To think I wasn't going to be back. LOL. We're so glad to have you back. I'm glad you're feeling better. Sepsis is rough. Sepsis is rough. Darren has dealt with sepsis too. It's we are really glad that you're here with us today, Donna. Okay, so I'm going to use um, some Ultra Bond. I, Darren, I didn't tell you either of these things. I've got some little magnets. They're in uh, decorative details. Also, I noticed today that uh, there are some new some new. Um, magnets 
on the set on the site today. I think they're probably bigger than this one. All right, this I must have another one of these because this one isn't open all the way. Yeah, there it is. I knew I did. Michelle says definitely hearts. I didn't see the card layout and send them anything. Yeah, I think we need some hearts for sure. I, th I think there's just... Okay, so I haven't used these yet. So you guys are seeing this for the first time too. So I bought these metal tips for the Ultra Bond. It is amazing glue, but the trick with it is that it does clog if you're not careful. And there are a few things you can do to make that easier. Um, of course, I didn't do them. That's why it's clogged. One of the biggest things is if you just tap it when you're done with it, then all, it kind of makes the glue run out of this, the little spout part. Is that what you call that? The little tip. So I'm just going to unclog mine a little bit. And then I'm not sure how this works yet, but we are about to find out. So it just has a little. Michelle said there were small and large ones added today. Small and large uh, magnets? I think so, yes. All right, Michelle has let us know that there are small and large magnets on the site today. So I'm going to use uh, my Ultra Bond to glue on my magnets. I'm just going to use this little Jen scrap said, I have. So if you're going to do hearts, is that. Oh, dear. Great? Relationship has advanced past the best fun space. <laughs> they are close friends. <laughs> okay, so I just completely messed this up. That is your proof that I have not used this before. Um, it just kind of shot out the side at the lid, so I obviously need to investigate that further. But for now, let me just try to get this on to our card. Hopefully I have it going the right way. <laughs> I'm going to let that dry a little bit and I'm going to wipe my hands off so that I don't get glued to our project. So once that dries a little bit then I will move on to gluing the other side hopefully correctly. Let me see if I can Kind of all right maybe we'll just do it this way i don't know if this is a good idea or not so let's put a little glue on it now i know where to put it and i know i have the correct side so We'll let that dry a little bit. Crisis averted. I do need to clean up my glue after this. Okay, let me just wipe this glue off because it is really sticky stuff and I don't want it on our project. All right, now we can move on, I think, to kind of looking over our, our design here. What do we want to do? I think we need some hearts, like I said. So I'm thinking maybe, and maybe some flowers. Let's see. How these little flowers look. Let's see if we can add a little. I don't think the blue is going to look good with that one, but maybe the green or maybe these daisies. Move it up a little bit, Shannon. You're up here a little bit. Okay, I will move it up. Thank you, Darren. Maybe some of these. Maybe one. That's one nice thing I like about the. Uh, putting something on, on the little foam dots is you can work around it a little bit more. Gives you a little freedom to play behind. Not sure I love that there yet, but we'll, we'll figure it out in a sec. And then let's do this one. Maybe down there. And then we will add some of our hearts. I think we should do maybe, do we want this? Yeah, let's do, 
the red one, maybe a pink one. What do you guys think? Do you think we need some more or do you think we're, we're good? Let's maybe add How about that? What do you guys think? I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're good. So I think that's pretty good. I think we've, we've got that. In fact, I do want to show you though, look at all of these little sayings we could have done. There's tons of them. You've got this that says happy. You've got the best friends, be beautiful. Just so many cute things. And it looks so great with the black and white. And, you know, usually I'll color these panels or I'll foil them or do something like that. But I thought for this it was really fun just to leave them, Karen just to leave them that way. Oh, thank you, you guys. Oh, I think we will add it. You know, it wouldn't be one of my projects if I don't put some kind of dot on there because I have some sort of dot addiction. Jen says it's really cute. Oh, thanks, Jen. Tina says it's such a fun project. And look how fast it came together. This is such a fun, easy project. Those are the best kind, right? I actually have something really fun in store and that I want to do soon. Um, I've just been a little nervous. And that's one of my biggest things. If I could say anything to you guys, it's just to try it. Even if it scares you a little bit. I have, um, I want to try out, maybe I'll just tell you. No, I'll keep it a surprise. But I'll tell you that I have something that I've had for... A few weeks now that I have been holding on to because I'm afraid to try it because I don't want to mess it up but I'm just gonna go for it so maybe I'll do that on uh, next next live and the details to this card are going to be up on the blog this week uh, probably is it Friday that we post that yes well Saturday mo midnight Friday midnight so, so Saturday, morning. Saturday morning check check the British Monroe site on Saturday morning and we'll also put it up on the Crafty Shenanigans YouTube channel this weekend. And then probably next week it'll go up on the Brutus Monroe uh, YouTube. Okay? Let me switch the phone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had so much fun. And I'm excited to, to play with you guys again next week. Like I said, I'm going to try something that's been scaring me. So make sure you come back and see what that is. Because maybe it's been scaring you too. Thank you so much. I'll see you next week.